One more question from Dwight Barron. Yeah, I might, uh, good night everybody. And, uh, host Dr. Uh, my question is for um, uh, Dr. Guadalupe as well. And that has to do with, uh, you, you were here, how long were you here studying? A year? You went to school in? You're from here? Yes. Okay, makes it even better then. Um, again. Going back to what uh, Mr. Rep just uh, mentioned about being disgruntled of a uh, uh, disgruntled few, and then he just got up there and says that it appears, and that's a good word, it appears that people here are satisfied with how it is. But are you aware that people are, to some degree, afraid of speaking their mind on this island? Because the more you speak your mind on this island, if you realize it or not, it is true and you are actually targeted. And that's not only person Martin, in the whole world. And that is something that when you go out there and you call the few that are speaking their minds disgruntled, I think you have used the wrong term, but I respect your term. I'm just saying that's my opinion. Thank you. I have to interject here. He never singled out any few I know, I know. has been disgruntled. It's just a... Just, uh, so I'm just yeah. backing up to share over there. Okay. I would, okay. like you, I, would like you, I would like you to explain your situation on St. Martin's. I would like you to explain your study in St. Martin, even being from St. Martin, and, and, and how you see St. Martin's accepting what is happening to them here on this island, as a people. Now look, um, I came to this island when I was 16 years. Um, I went to Milton Peters College. Uh, Maria van Enkelvoort was my teacher there. And most of us, at that particular time, came from elsewhere. But we became St. Martin's. We started to love that. Um, and the year that I spent doing research, and the time that I lived in St. Martin, I lived in the Dutch Quarter, and I spent doing research in certain parts of the French side and the Dutch side, I sat at the, the, the bars, the places where people hang out, and the places where people are able to speak their mind, because I do not believe that there you have any secret police there standing and saying, you're not allowed to say this or say that. And those people usually were okay. They had their problems, they were sometimes lacking a job, um, sometimes they were angry about, about certain things. But all in all, most of them loved the island, and most of them would say, well, I might go back one of these days to Dominica, but I love St. Martin. And I believe those are the new St. Martiners, along with the St. Martiners who have a longer heritage of this island. And I, and I saw growing up here that we all could get along. Um, yeah. Thank you. Hello. I've reached my five questions. Unless there's one more urgent question, which I'd like to entertain. But if there's no more questions, Monday. Okay, there's one more question. This is Fabiana, I know. This will be the last question. Good evening, everyone. Good evening to the panelists. It's not a question. It's more of a remark. Coming back to the two questions that were posed to the doctor. I think as young St. Martiners, opposed not to the more mature St. Martiners, we see a lot of things in a different way. And we do, thank you, we do have grievances and we do understand certain things, but just as, I, I always say there's a generation gap where there was a generation who just found give away, give away, give away. And now we are here. We were born here or we were raised here. No matter what, it's in Martin. We love it. We made it our home. And we are saying, hey, it doesn't have to be you give me this, I give you that. We have to fight for us and for our children, which are your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, <laughs> to have to come along. And that is where. We are saying, let us 
bring our culture back into schools. Let us bring our culture over to the people that are making St. Martin their home. We don't have a problem with anybody coming to St. Martin. I, I can say that freely. Because we learn from each other. We learn from each other. And it makes St. Martin even a more attractive place to want to come to. We are the only island, the only island, the smallest island within in the whole world that has two different nationalities on one island. And we can get along. The French can get along with the Dutch, the Dutch can get along with the French. And we are just saying, as the younger generation, it's enough of give me and take it. We are saying, help us and love it. That's what we are saying. And it's not a, there are people who do have grievances, as Dr. Guadalupe said, but it's not always when you have a grievance, well, the younger generation would think you have to go out there and make a commotion. You deal with it on a professional level. And if you deal with it on a professional level, you get a lot of things done better, opposed to going out and fighting and grumbling. It might come a time that maybe, yes, that's going to happen. But let's just not step from maybe a newborn and then run one time. Let us take our time and get it done and get it done in the correct way in order that our children tomorrow can be protected for the rest of their lives exactly. and those to come. Thank you very much. In closing, I would like to say, listening to all of the discussion, there's a sun, and there's a place under the sun for each of us, is are you willing to take the blisters? So if the sun is very big, each and one of us can get enough and more of it, but we must be willing to take the blisters. So this conversation will continue on Monday evening, where you will be the people who are addressing and giving your concerns as it relates to culture currently, as well as you see it relating to culture in the future. And your input is, will be highly appreciated and it will make a difference. Everything you said will be documented. You may not see it come back in the way that you said it, but the general gist of it will be put into a draft paper. We will send this back to each of you, the stakeholders, Will you get a chance to review it? And we'll do this process about three or four times until we keep refining it until we get a cultural policy that you can see yourself reflected in it. And hopefully this will make St. Martin a more better place to live in. So I thank each and every one of you to come out tonight. And I'll also to like to welcome the commissioner one more time to give his last address to you. And we have lots of drinks and food and entertainment outside. Mingle with each other, talk. Because it's very important to talk to each other. It's very easy for us to talk about each other. It's easy to talk at each other. But when we speak to each other, we can, we can accomplish a lot of things. And a lot of things that seem very impossible to do, we can achieve. So please welcome one more time the Commissioner of Culture, Mr. Louis Labay. I just, I just wanted to just very quickly just say this to you who are participants in our class. Okay, I just thought it's very important to the people here and the people that are coming tomorrow. Monday. I'm sorry, on Monday. Very important. Tell your brother to tell his sister, to tell his uncle, to tell his auntie, his grandfather, that they're a brother. Must come. Don't forget his grandmother. All right. But I must say this to each and every one of you who are here now.